Okie dokie. This is an exciting little, uh, exciting, exciting little live stream. It's going to be a long one. It's probably not going to be watched overly much, but I'm making it for my own personal, my own personal reasons. So there's a bit of a project that has been on my mind for quite some time. Um, <clears throat> it is a project for, um, how do you call it? A project about putting together some classes online. Now, I want to do things a little bit differently than most classes. So first of all, the biggest difference is I want to put these classes together for free. I want it to be a free resource that basically anyone can act. Well, anyone can access um, that at any time. So think of like a um, think of like a video course that you would typically take online. So something like uh, I don't know any kind of study at home course. Think of something like that. And um, I want to put something like that together for free. So like a course, like a French class, French and Spanish are the two languages I want to tackle first. Um, and it would be a course for people to like a video course that people can access for free. Now it's not going to have a lot of bells and whistles. What I mean by that is perhaps if you take an online course that you paid for, right? There might be a lot of, um, there might be, how do you call it? Uh, there might be some web design involved. There might be some nice lighting and a nice camera and a perfect microphone. The person stands in front of a green screen. You know, I'm not really going to be worrying about a lot of that, but the content itself is going to be well delivered. It's actually probably, I haven't decided, but I might even do a live. It might even be a live class that I literally, we live stream for 12 hours straight and we go, all right, let's go to French. Here's the alphabet. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. You try, say it, right? We'll have a Google. My thinking is there's probably going to be a Google doc that is literally accessible by anyone who has the link to view and anyone can access that link. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll even put it in the YouTube video description so that you can follow along while we're going in the video. Um, so I'll even have that so people can follow along. I'm like 90%, I'm like 90% sold and convinced that it's going to be something that I put together. I'm a little bit on the fence. I'm not sure, but there's a slight in, indecision, but I'm like 90% sure it's something that I want to put together. Um, yeah, and so this video here is pretty straightforward, a little bit boring, but that's okay. It's interesting for me, and which is why I'm making this. Um, it's literally going to be me working on some of the behind the scenes of what, what this class has to look like, what content is going to be taught, what's it going to look like, how is it going to be done well, what are some of the logistics, I'm trying to figure out how far can I take someone in French, like, like, is this like a 50 hour thing that I do where it's like I do 10 or sorry, five, 10 hour videos per language. And it's like, all right, we sit down 10 hours go. Is it like, I don't really know what that's going to look like. So there's things like that that I've got to figure out and how far can I take someone? The one of the biggest questions is how far can I actually take someone with French if I just make a comprehensive or Spanish, if I make a comprehensive, like boom, start at the beginning and literally let's work our way up. How far can I take you in that kind of progress, in that kind of process, right? What kind of exercises do I have to give you? What kind of practice do we have to do in the video together? What has to be done? Um, yeah, what has to be done? One of the motivations or one of the um, reasons I'm putting this together is because so I think about myself, I teach a lot of classes and there's a lot of stuff that I'm teaching that I'm like, literally all it would take is for me to sit down for like a lot of the stuff that we're doing in class does not need to happen in class. There's a lot of stuff we do in class that could literally be done if I make a very solid free course that people can just watch and go through. They could actually probably learn it 80% at home and use me to kind of figure out some nuances. So it's one of the reasons I'm doing it. I think there's a lot of money being spent on resources, programs, classes, books, blah, blah, blah. When that money doesn't have to be spent, it can literally be like, hey, watch this. You don't need to now spend 70% of the money that you're spending. Does that make sense? Um, and I also think it solves a problem of if you look online, there's a lot of great resources for a lot of languages, which is fantastic. 
but it's 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 the, the internet is so fragmented, right? It's so fragmented, and there's so many videos, and there's so much that I think it's a good idea to have. If I have something as comprehensive, it's like, all right, I've done all the work. Hey, just watch this playlist, watch this video. You're set, and you can just watch that, and you can learn X amount of X language in blah 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 amount of time. I'm not the first one who's done this. People have done this before. Um, but obviously uh, what I've also come to learn, I've been learning more and more is just because someone's done it before and just because 50,000 people have seen that one video, 99% of the world still doesn't know that video exists. So I might as well make my own, market it, and it's going to be free. So it's not even really like literally just do the stuff that I know I can do to get people to watch it and it's going to help a lot of people. So anyway, I need some water. Let me grab some water coming back. Grab some water. Okay, <clears throat> water's good. So, <clears throat> um, so there's the water, obviously. So now I'm gonna grab my little my little handy dandy. Uh, Etch a sketch, basically. It's like a little block board you can write on with really anything. Grab this guy, and let's get to work. I got to make the plan. Um, basically, my what I want to try and get done. I don't know if it's doable, but we'll see. I've got to leave my house in about two hours. I've got a list of the following to do. I've got to make sure I really have a. I feel good about this class. I don't have to get every detail nailed down today, but I want to get enough nailed down and enough figured out that I'm like, yeah, you know what? Good. I feel good about this. I've got some stuff to figure out, but yes, I feel hundred percent confident. I can a hundred percent confident. I can deliver on this. So that's got to be done. Hopefully I can do that reasonably quickly. It's all in my head anyway. So it's got to get it down on paper and make sure. Um, I've got a, I've got a lot of credits. So this is a fun little fact. Um, I have about $500 in ad credits on different social platforms right now. A little bit random, but I've got rough little under $500 of free money where I can spend on ads on different places online. I'm going to run that 500 bucks to like get people to know about this particular, it's literally free. Like it's so funny that I'm putting it together, not to sell a product, but literally for the branding stuff, literally 500 bucks, 475 to be exact. $475 um, to get as many people aware about, and it's not my money, it's free money um, given to me by the social networks, which is great. Um, they have different promotions that I got that I caught at the right time. So yay. Um, literally $475 to get, make people aware of something that's free with no, literally no strings attached. It's going to be awesome. It's actually a bit of a, well, it's actually a branding play for me. I know that if I do that, People are going to like, they're going to like me. They're going to like the product. They're going to like the, what I put together. They're going to like me. And that is just a very good branding play. I think doing good stuff for free that other people are not doing for free is actually, it's actually a really, really putting your best stuff, putting as much of your best stuff out for free, I think is a very good business decision actually. <laughs> um, and I just feel really good about it. I feel really good about it. Um, yeah. The more I grow both, in my business, both in content, both in following and all that stuff, the more I grow, the more that happens. I also, I also want to make sure that I'm giving more, which is why I want to do this. I was thinking like, man, last month I was thinking, man, I'm not doing enough, like giving stuff right now. I'm not giving back enough. I'm not doing, I used to do way. I felt, I felt like in the early days I did so much that was just pure giving no strings attached. I felt good about it. And now I'm not doing as much. And I want to go back and do and do a little bit more giving um, than what I'm doing now. So, all right, work time. I'm gonna grab my. Hey, where's my pencil case? Oh no, where's my pencil case? <laughs> Whoever's watching this live, hello. I see two of you on here. Two of you are on. By the way, read the description if you haven't read the description. Everything about this live stream is in the description. So, by the way. Check out my pencil case. My name's on it. I've had it for 20, uh, 22 years I've had it for. 
my little stylus. Here we go. <clears throat> so what do they have to know? So they're gonna have to know. Um, they're gonna we're gonna cover the phonetics. So phonetics are gonna be covered. So phonetics and alphabet. Okay. So phonetics and alphabet will be covered in the classes. Um, I think pronouns have to be covered. Pronouns. I think we have to go through <sighs> what has to be covered. We've got to go through, we've got to go through some of the more basic verb tenses, like present. And actually, you know what? Man, it's it's difficult to know like what it's difficult to know like how far how far am I trying to get people to be able to go? Like what can I do? Like how far can I get people in a class? Like, do I just want to present the information? Like, I don't know how I want to do it. Like, mm, There needs to be a certain number of verbs that's covered. And by the way, if you're hearing this, you're watching and you want to add to my brainstorm and like help me out with this, you're welcome to. I mean, I'm trying to figure this out. This is the first time I'm doing it, right? So most, you know, if I was, if I was a perfectionist, I would do a trial run first. In fact, it's probably not a bad idea to do a trial run. If I literally sit down and do a trial to see how it feels. But I'm not sure. That's not really my style. I'd rather do something that's that's like good and then learn from the reactions of people. And I was like, oh, I should have done that better. I'm much more like that than I am to do a trial run. So trial run's not gonna happen. Um <clears throat> pronouns have to happen. There's gotta be a certain number of verbs. Like, I don't know, like a certain common verbs have to be covered off. In fact, common verbs. Common verbs, adjectives, na and nouns have to be covered off. We've got to do some verb conjugations. Let's do present, past, future. Present, past, future. Those three have to be covered off. Um... What are the inherent problems in this class that I don't that and if I can fix this, I believe it's probably a one of a kind, a one of a kind class. One of the things that is that has not been addressed in my experience, common phrases, Jacqueline. Actually, yeah, that should be done. Yeah, common phrases, thank you. Common phrases. Yep, yeah, that that absolutely has to be there. Um, I think as well, like any greetings as well, greetings have to be there. Thank you, Jacqueline. I appreciate it. Um, one of the things if I can solve this, it'll be a big thing. So if you think, I'm not sure if you guys know, but if you look at a lot of the comprehensive free classes that exist literally on YouTube, by the way, this is a tip that can help all of you. If you literally go into YouTube, search the, like, I almost, I almost want you to actually know, well, oh, at some point do this. Go into YouTube, type into YouTube, Arabic comprehensive level one class, beginner class, French comprehensive beginner class, Spanish comprehensive or full free beginner French class. You're going to see these like five hour, four hour, three hour, six hour, one hour videos that cover off all of everything you would need to know for a specific language and a specific topic. Like those videos where it's like all French grammar in one video all Spanish, blah, blah, blah. Like they have these that exist. They absolutely exist. But I will say this, the one thing that doesn't, the one thing that these classes do not offer, and it, I don't know how to solve it. I'm sure I'm creative enough to figure it out. I'm sure I can do it. I just got to think about it and test. Um, is you get all this content, right? You learn all this stuff from the video, which is great, but you're not able to do anything with it. You haven't been able to practice. You haven't been able to get the feedback. You're just like, oh, great. It's in my head. Now what? It happened to me in German. I watched this video, part of a video when I was online, when I was flying to Germany earlier this year. 
And I watched a video. I downloaded one on my phone for the plane. And I was like watching it on the plane. It's like comprehensive. I think it was like, if you watch this video, you're going to be at an A, like close to an A1 in German, an A1 level in German. I was like, cool. I watched maybe 20 minutes out of the three hours or two hours, whatever it was. But I had to stop. because so I was like, all right, my brain is kind of full. And I don't even, I couldn't use it. If someone actually said it to me, I wouldn't be able to respond. Like I wouldn't be able to do it. So great, I've learned it, but now what? So I'm not sure kind of what, um, yeah, I, I just don't know what uh, what that's going to look like. Tessa says, every Sunday, I attend a live Korean, oh, interesting, and live Hindi class. They spend an hour plus one, plus, they have spent an hour plus on one grammar topic with lots of interaction and examples. I find it much better than multiple topics. Yeah, it's a good point. I actually could, in theory, do every single week, there's a free live stream where we have a class and it's literally like we go through each topic week by week it's not a bad idea actually it's not a terrible idea uh, so every week there's a spanish class we have notes we have a video people can watch it uh, it's actually in fact i wonder if that's a better idea I can correct people's homework. They can send me stuff. Um, yeah, that's actually, huh. Yeah, that's maybe not a terrible idea. I don't know. Is that better? Is that better than what I was thinking? Instead of one video where it's like, watch this and you know it all. Why well, not know it all, but watch this one 10 hour, 50 hour, 20 hour, 12 hour, watch this over however much time and you're going to know everything. Or do I go every week? There's a one hour video. It's like, all right, follow along with me. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Uh, it's a good idea. I don't know. Oh man, now I'm, that's actually, hmm. Everything in one video, or I do both. Huh, actually both is an interesting option too. Why not both? So here's the, hmm. You could attach all the videos and cut the intro exits at the end for a 10 hour video and all. Yeah, that's not, it's not wrong actually. I could literally just string them together. String them together for like a one 10 hour or whatever hour thing. Uh, I'm undecided. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. That's an interesting idea. The problem I have, you know what I have? The problem I have with like something weekly, the, the issue I have with it is, um, is, uh, yeah. So the weekly class does fix the interaction. It does fix it. People will then go, all right, yeah, they'll be able to get talking. They'll be able to, um, they'll be able to do, yeah, they'll be able to talk. They'll be able to do the practice. They'll be able to do all that, which is good. There's also the optics. There's also how someone feels when they see it. When I market this and I actually advertise this, it's a lot easier to say, hey, here's one video. It's done. I made it. I can sit down for one day, 10 hours, record it. Or X number of hours over X number of days, it's just done. Here you go. Boom. If you watch this, 
you're going to be set. You're going to know X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. You're going to know. That can feel like for someone like, oh, really? I'm going to spend, that's it? I just watch it, I'll be good? And you say, yeah, you'll be good. That's way easier. That's way that's way more consumable for the mind than like, oh, I have a, I have a, oh, maybe not. I have a 12 video course. That's an at one, 12 videos, one hour each. You follow it. You follow the homework. You do your thing and you're set. It's also pretty consumable. Yeah, but that one takes 12 weeks to, oh my God, I have to wait 12 weeks to have the video. That's ridiculous. That's so long. It's like three months. It's like literally three months. It's like, oh my God. Like for me to stick with that for three months, I don't know if that'll happen. <laughs> I don't know if I'll do it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll do it. Jacqueline says, but 10 hours might be too long. I can barely focus on an hour long video. Yeah, but you can watch it in lessons. Like you can watch it in chunks. Like you can, wa you can watch the first 20 minutes, stop it, take a break, pick it up tomorrow. You can watch it when you want. You don't have to watch it all in one go. Uh, will I go weekly or will I go one go? Here it is. Here's the Google Doc. Here's the videos. Boom. Go. Or step one, step two, French class level one, beginner one. Today we're doing the alphabet. A, E, I, O, U, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. And it's like an hour on each topic. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, big video first, long-term mini sessions covering. Yeah, that's probably the best way. I mean, I think we'll see. I'll think on That's not, I don't need to make that decision today. That's not crucial. I'll think about that. Yeah, I think both is probably the right answer. Do both. There's a 15 hour thing. Here you go. Or every week. Man, what I hate about many, what I hate about every week is I don't know if I'll stick with it. Like, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll keep doing it. I'd rather drop, like, I don't, I just don't know. Cause I don't, mm, yeah, I don't know if I can do, I'm not sure. I really don't know about that. We'll see. I'll think on that. So greetings, common phrases. Um, the question becomes, how far will I get people? So if I spend 10 hours, how far can I go? What can I do in 10 hours with you? What can, If I have a group class, what do we accomplish in 10 hours? In 10 hours, I can easily have you. I can have, I can have, I can. Oh, that's not, a, that's interesting. In 10 hours, you'll be able to have a 10 minute conversation. Watch this for 10 hours. Spend an hour a week, and you will be able to have a 10-minute conversation with any native speaker. Watch this video for 10 hours. In 10 hours, you'll be able to have a 10-minute conversation. 50 hours, you can have a one-hour conversation? No, that's not. Oh, maybe. Could I, could I manage that? Could I teach you in, if I had 50 hours of your time? No, I couldn't do 50 minutes. I could do if I had six. If I had 100 hours of your time... Could I get you to, what's a hundred hours? What is that? It's like a, it's an hour a week for, for two years. 
about an hour a week of your time for two years, could I get you to have a half hour conversation with a native speaker? Yeah, I could do that. Okay, so that's in interesting. Could I do that in video form? Could I make videos that if I say you watch this and you will be able to have a 20 to 30 minute conversation with a native, with a native speaker in Spanish and French? It's free, watch it, you're in your set. What would that need to look like? Okay, so we cover off je, tu, il, elle, nous. So je is I, okay. The only way that would work is if I covered off like every... You know, that's doable. What, it's an interesting concept. Um, You know what's funny? You know what I think I could do? This would be a harder project, but and it's, but 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 and actually I could even make it I can start it small to start. If you give me 10, yeah, 10 hours of your time and you can have a 10-minute conversation with a one-on-one -on -one native native speaker. That's pretty doable. So here's what that would look like. Um give me 10 hours of your time and you can talk to any native speaker for 10 minutes. Yeah. So Okay, so let's say we learned greetings. Hola, como es? Hola, como estás? Estoy. We would need to go through. So what would happen is, here's what it looked like. I would teach you a concept. And I would teach you every variation, the most common variations of how someone might ask you that question. So it's like someone might say to you, like, I don't know, what's an example in English? Someone might say like, hey, what do you do for work? Someone might also say, like, what do you do for a living? Someone might also say, uh, do you have a job? Someone might also say, oh, what do you do with your time? Someone might also, like, there's a variation of common ways we might ask you what, do you, what do you do in your life? There's, like, a certain number, right? And what can be done in the video, which is very doable, is, like, literally... We go through, first I teach, hey, how do you say, what do you do for work? ¿Cuál es tu trabajo? In, in Spanish, for example. But someone might also ask you, ¿Y, uh, ¿eres estudiante? ¿Trabajas? And we go through some common variations. And then we do listening practice, listening comprehension in the video. And we make, and we do, and we go through the different options. And then we actually do different exercises. Like, all right, I'm gonna, we've learned all this. Let's do some listening practice. Trabajas? And I literally ask you in the video and you're like, what did I say? Think about that. Ha answer my question. Right? Oh, did you understand? No. Blah, 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 blah. Let me type this out for you. You can see. Trabajas? Si. No. And then, oh, you didn't get it. Let's try that again. And if you're watching it, you can just rewind. You can recover. And that's training your brain to hear the different variations of the different... Oh, sorry, I just got distracted with the text. Um, with different, uh, yeah, like you just, you're covering different, you're almost like preparing them. Like I could probably in 10 hours, I could probably have you prepped to have a 10 minute conversation going through different like scripts almost. Almost like scripts, almost. But you understand the, the grammar behind the scripts, you understand what's happening, where there's a written format. And then you actually are prepared. And then what I'm, and you guys know me, like the other thing I'm super open to doing. And if, if, if I can make this not even like the biggest course in the world, that's not going to happen. Like if I can make it mildly popular, mildly, like a couple thousand people view it, something like that. Like to me, that's like, wow, it's amazing. That's more than what most people view on my stuff. I, I, I'll be pretty cool. I feel really proud of myself. Um, you know, a couple thousand people within a six months or something. And then obviously it'll grow after that organically. Um, they could, like, I'm super fine with people messaging me on Instagram, people asking for help. Now, if it gets big, I won't be able to answer everybody, but I can do my best. I can do my best. I can try to answer everybody. I can try to get to it. I can, I can try, can't I? Right? I can try. Yeah. That's pretty doable. And I bet you, based on what I've seen, that's not 
that's not people's defaults. Like they're going to default into like, so what's different about me is I don't need your money. I don't need all of it. I don't need like, I don't need everyone's, I don't need all, I don't need every single one of you to pay me stuff, which is the biggest thing, right? When you look at when I've seen a lot of other courses, there's something you could literally buy through that person because of that video or whatever it is, right? I do too. You could buy stuff from me. Like people could, you could, but I literally have zero expectation for you to do so, which then means that like, I don't need to hold, I don't need to hold anything back. And then I know that there's going to be enough from the overall attention it generates. It's going to be enough good stuff that happens that pays me. Yeah, that's it. That's the answer. Out my, uh, out my, uh, leg just got hurt. There we go. Tessa says very doable. Easy life says how to learn a language. Is it by watching lectures, reading scripts, enacting them? What are your views? Um, yeah, it's about learning all the concepts of the language, getting enough expo, like all the concepts you have to know, grammar, writing, reading, learning, getting exposure to all of them, understanding them all, and then doing enough practice with them in meaningful ways, enough times and enough repetitions so that you are able to, uh, oh, that's an interesting idea. Anyway, so you're able to actually function with it. Tess says, one of the main reasons I delayed following you was I originally focused on the individual languages rather than on language learning. Yeah, it's a lot of people, actually. I could be a lot more popular if I focus. I've got really good stuff. It's crazy how many, like, it's crazy if I just taught more on my, if I taught more using my online platforms, how much bigger I would be because I'm a good teacher. I really, I can really teach. I can teach. I can get you to understand stuff and I can, I can do it but I, that's not what I want to do half the time. So my hair is a mess. Also, my hair is like thinning out and stuff too. I'm, I'm not sure if the balding process has started, but I'm not sure. I, I wonder if it, the balding process has started. I'm not really sure. It's either that or my hair is growing differently than before. It's something's up here. I don't know. Like, look, it's not very long here. Is that normal? Like, shouldn't it be down here? Like these front hairs are long. Look at these side hairs, man. Look at that. Look at, look at what's going on there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that, how I feel about that. It's a little odd, no? I'm going to have a, uh, yeah, this, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I think, is that the planning process? I'm making a 10-hour video. I'm going to, in 10 hours, be able to get you to have a 10-minute. I'm not going to share that publicly, though. That's not going to be the claim I make because I don't, I know me, I'm going to start. And within the first hour of me doing it, I'll be like, oh crap. You know what? I missed on that. That's not right. It's actually like this. So I really missed this up. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I don't know, but yeah, I think that's, that's the, that's the main thing in my mind. I'm going to send, pen, you know what? If I could do it in 10, let's say I'm going to do it in 15. Let's say it's going to be four. Oh, that's way more doable. I'm going to four, can I do four 10 hour videos? Can I sit in one place for 10 hours? Probably. Probably could do that. Okay, eight. What's the longest? That's a good point. What is the longest um, you can do a live stream on YouTube? Um, I wonder if there is a, a limit to a live stream. YouTube officially only supports videos. This is as of January 25th, 2019, up to 12 hours. Okay, so what, all right, so 10 hour, yeah, 10 hours, like the most I can do, let's say. I can sit for 10 hours. Um, yeah, okay, I can sit for 10 hours, basically. It's as long as I can really do. Okay. Um, yeah, so you do four, I could probably do four 10-hour videos, max. In my mind, I'm prepped to do four. In my mind, I'm prepared to do a multi-video. In my mind, it's not going to be one video, but it's going to be a playlist of yeah so this is the this is the happy medium it's not a weekly video 
That's set. Oh, I got it. I got it figured out. I got it. I got it figured out. Oop. Sorry, I dropped my pencil. <clears throat> I figured it out. Okay. It's not a weekly video that's set at the same time. What it is, is it's going to be a certain number of videos. I haven't figured out how many. We're going to see how the class feels. They're going to be done in a pretty condensed period of time, whatever, a month, uh, a day, a week, two months. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's going to be done out in um, a certain period of time. Uh, yeah, it's going to be done in a short period of time. And it might be 10 hours. It might be 50 hours. Could be, could be either or. That's the right answer. And the content covered? Yeah, let's say the goal... What do you know? What, let me see. What's the CEFR levels? Let me just read read about these. What is a what is an A two? What can you do at an A two? Let me see. I've got the website bookmarked. So what? Can I share my screen on a YouTube live stream? I don't think that's doable. They used to let you share your screen. I don't think I can do that anymore. Participants. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> what is an A2? A2 can understand sentences and frequently used expressions related to areas of most immediate relevance. So very basic personal and family interaction, shopping, local geography, employment. Can communicate in simple and routine tasks requiring a simple and direct exchange of information on familiar and routine matters can describe in simple terms aspects of his or her background, immediate environment, and matters in areas of immediate need. What about a B1? Can I get, I can't get you to B1, not in, no, I can't, I definitely cannot, I don't know, that seems tough. A B1 in 50 hours is real hard. That doesn't sound easy at all, especially if I'm video, like it's recorded, that's, that's not gonna work. But what is a B1 out of curiosity? If I could do that, then I'll be like, then I'm, I put everyone out of business. <laughs> can I can understand the main points of clear standard input on famili familiar familiar matters regularly encountered in work leisure. Basically, my Mandarin. Could I have gotten? Could someone have put together a course that got me to my current level of Mandarin using the tools I'm going to use? I know some Mandarin classes that can do it, but they're paid. And they're rightly so. So here's a cool thing that I'm, what I'm putting together is free because there's not, there's no bells and whistles. There's no insane technology. There's not going to be a lot of editing. It's not going to have, we're not going to have a nice green screen. I'm not going to correct your assignments. I will, like, you can, you can message stuff to me, but I'm not, I'm going to try to reply to everyone, but Hey, if there's only like a few people who actually end up watching it, then sure. I'll get to everyone. But if there's a lot, then I won't be able to, but there are courses that have done it. I think that can do that. I don't know if I can do it though for free using the tools I have. Well, what about A1? What's an A1? Can understand and use familiar everyday expressions and very basic phrases aimed at the satisfaction of needs of a concrete type. That's doable through video. Can introduce him, himself or herself and others and can ask and answer questions about personal details such as where he or she lives. People, oh, people he or she knows and things he or she has can interact in a simple way provided the other person talks slowly and clearly and is prepared to help. I can do that. I can do that. So here's the crazy thing I've discovered. I, literally right now, I can get people, if you give me about 12 hours of your time in a group setting and you give me uh, 12 hours of classroom time and probably, I don't know, five hours of homework time, if you give me 17 hours of your time, I can get you to an A1. Isn't that nuts? Am I right on that? I'm pretty sure. Let's say, okay, 20, 25 hours per day. Give me 25 hours of your time. I can get someone to an A1 level. That's way faster than everybody else. If you look at classes, I'm, I'm faster than people. Hmm. I can do that. All, I think I can, I, I can do that in a class. I can do that online. I think I can get you there. I haven't tried it before. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. I'll look back at this and be like, wow, that was a stupid idea. But I think I can do that. I don't think I can do it in 20 hours though, not online. If it's online learning and you don't have real interaction, live interaction, it might take me longer. It might take me 30. 
I can do that. I can do it. I can do it. Last B1 points, read dreams. B1 could be possible, but maybe not for an absolute beginner. Yeah, B1's doable. I know what it, I know. I've, I've actually taken a class, not the whole thing. I've, I've got a program that I've used online for Mandarin. I believe they can do it. I believe they have the tools. I believe they have a program put together that allows people to get there even higher than a B1, to be honest. It's a really good program. Um, Yo Yo Chinese, let's give them a real shout out. Yo Yo Chinese, really good program. But when you look at it, even if you just Google it, see their website, like there's so much more production value than what I want to invest in making that I have any interest in doing. It's such a different thing than what I'm trying to put together. I'm trying to put together something that is free. And for it to be free, the production value has to be low because I'm not going to spend money on the production, right? It's li literally going to be in the description. There's going to be a Google Doc link. Everybody can access it. Everyone can just follow along as I type on my computer, like going to be pretty rogue. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's decided. I think the goal is to get people to an A1 level. And I can literally just take these outcomes from the official CEFR website and to say, give me, this is what you're going to learn in this free class. You'll understand and be able to use familiar everyday expressions and very basic phrases aimed at the satisfaction of needs of a concrete type. You'll be able to introduce yourself and introduce others. You'll be able to ask and answer direct questions about personal details, such as where you live. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so that's decided. Do I need to do anything else for that? No, but I need some water. Okay, so we can check that off my list. I've got to charge my plug. I'm charge my plug. Charge my uh, laptop here. Battery's getting a little low. Back in a sec. Excuse me again. Lots of burping happening. I thought I spelled something that stunk and I thought it was me, but I don't think it's me. What am I smelling? What did I just smell? Nope, not that. Hmm. Something around me kind of stinks and I don't know what it was. Maybe I was imagining things. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to my list. That's done. So I gotta make the, I gotta make my landing page for this. All right, so let's go to my website. All right, now things get a little boring. Um, in fact, I wonder if I should do something more interesting for you guys to watch. Nah, oh, I'll keep I'll keep this running, but I'm not. This is gonna be kind of boring. I can't share my screen. So you guys can't see what I'm doing. If I could share my screen, I would show you what I'm doing here on my screen. So that'd be more interesting. Um, so it's uh, AzrinTheLanguageNerd.com. By the way, I don't even, I don't, I've never talked about this on YouTube. The 700 videos I made, I've never talked about this. Um, I have a website. Did you know that? You probably didn't. My website is Azrin, the language link. What's my, uh, oh, there it is. Azrin, the language nerd.com. Pretty cool, right? Okay. So I just got onto my website. Um, we've got to make a new page. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. I haven't edited my, uh, also fun fact. It's not actually live, but theoretically you could buy. So here's a fun fact. Literally, I, it's, this is, I'm chuckling inside because no one, you may or may not know this. I get very excited about projects. 
And uh, it's super common for you to be really excited, start something, and then bail halfway through. Super common. Not super common, but it happens. So, uh, for example, I had a project. I was like, you know what? I think it makes sense to really to have to have it an option for people to buy certain apparel that I've that I've made through the Language Nerd platform. So I have certain shirts. I've gotten like literally. Check this out. I'm here. You guys are getting an exclusive here. Um, look at this. Look what I have. This is a literally. A, this is such a funny thing. Like, and it's crazy because no one's even get no one's gonna even see this because I'm so far into uh, so far into uh, into um, <laughs> so far into this video. No one's gonna even see this. So, like, three of you are getting a super exclusive. Look at this. I am a language nerd. I've got a few different things like this, like mugs, and I've done a lot of research. I put the time to figure out how do you make this. Like, I know so much. I know way more. Did you know there's different types of cotton? There's like so many different types of cotton that literally, like, what kind of cotton to make a shirt out of, like blends, and like, I have a store basically set up online. A bunch of different, I think I have stickers too. Did I make stickers? I think I made stickers that one could theoretically buy. The stuff I've made, you could you could buy it, but there's no that the website is not actually made on public because I don't I have like a three percent I'm not a hundred percent all in on the project. I'm like 97%. So I've done a lot of the upfront work, but there's a three percent doubt. There's three percent I'm like, ah, I, I don't know if I want to fire on that project, like you know. So it's a cool mug. I've got them. If you want one, can you buy one? If you really want to buy one, or if you really want a mug, or you really want a t-shirt, or you really want something, um, <clears throat> yeah, like, I don't know, message me. Yes. If you really want one, and you're like, yes, I want that mug. I want this. I want the t-shirt. If you really want one, um, message me, Facebook or Instagram, um, at Polyglot Azrin. Just send me a message. Um, and I will put, I'll open the link just for you, or I'll we'll do something. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just ship it to you directly from, from Canada. Like we'll figure it out. I'll give you a price and we can just do it one-on-one -on -one together since I clearly have it. I just, I don't know. I'm just not a hundred percent there yet to go like, yes, this is something that you can do. I want to open this to the masses. There's a lot of work that happens the second I make that. If I make the full commitment, there's a lot of work that's going to go behind the scenes. So I just don't want to have to, I'm not, in, I'm not ready to do that quite yet. But if you really want one for Christmas, if you want it for gifts, if you want it for whatever, um, then by all means, please reach out and, uh, we can, I can figure it out with you. Okay, <clears throat> so back to our website. So this project we're talking about literally might die, but I, this one I feel different about. This one I'm really like, I think I can pull, I, I need to pull the trigger on this one, I think, so. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got to create make, I've got to make a page first. So here's a fun fact. I... Uh, I prefer to know how to do everything myself and every element of my work before ever outsourcing it or giving it to someone else. Um, so I can do everything in my business. I know I'm not an expert, but I can design websites. I can make websites. I know how to make the, I know how to, I know how to do it. Get donate domain names, troubleshoot it. Very, no, no, I can't code. I can't say that, but I know enough to do the stuff that I need to do on a website, which is cool. So so we got to create a new page. Um, this page is called free, I don't know, free classes. <clears throat> um, free classes. Yeah, free classes. <clears throat> okay, so free classes. Let me just do a blah, blah, blah and just preview this page. See what that looks like. Yep, perfect. Free classes, excellent. That's what I need it to look like. So free classes. What do I say? I believe that, wait, actually, let me go to my own website here. 
how do I phrase, how do I word stuff? And like, what about my work with me page? <clears throat> it's 350 already, okay. Okay, um, let's keep it really simple for now and I can complicate it and make it more fancy as time goes on. <clears throat> okay, so. I am working on a, uh, hello, whoa, how did that happen? What does that look like? Let's preview that. I don't know if I like it. Hello. Oh, whoa, that's weird. I. My, uh, do I want to do an introduction on this page? Do I want to introduce people to who I am? Yeah, if I'm running $500 in ads, they're not going to know who I am. So let's copy and paste an introduction from my actual homepage. <clears throat> we should probably put a picture of myself. So copy and paste. My name is Azrin, AKA Azrin the Language Nerd. I love learning and teaching languages. Currently I speak English, French, and Spanish fluently. I also speak Mandarin and Gujarati at intermediate level. My main focus right now is to, but people don't care about that if they're coming off an ad, they're not gonna care. <clears throat> I, ca I currently speak English, French, maybe I'll just say English, French, Spanish, Mandarin and Gujarati. Um, so my name is Azrin, AKA Azrin the language nerd. I love learning and teaching languages. Currently I speak English, French, Spanish, Mandarin and Gujarati. I am from Calgary, so I am, I live in Calgary, Canada, where I run private and group classes for English, French, and Spanish learners, okay? <clears throat> As a part of my, how do I transition? So here's a fun fact as well, as I think about this here. What's the last language? Gujarati is a language from India. It's uh, my lang language my family speaks and that I've grown up speaking. So um, one fun fact, it's a little, it's a skill set that I'm decent at. It's decent. Um, hello, language lover 86. Um, one thing I'm decent at is copywriting. I'm not terrible at it, but I'm not like the best at it, but I'm fine at it. I'm good, but it takes time. And copywriting is a very, I mean, if you're working for yourself, it's an important skill. So it's an important skill. Um, Tessa says, what are we doing here? Um, read the description, read the description of the video, Tessa, uh, not Tessa, um, language learner 86. Okay. So, um, I've always wanted to put together, it's not really true though. I haven't always wanted to do one. It's just something I've thought about recently. Like not even, uh, not, well, yeah, reasonably recently. That's not true. I can't write that. Um, my name is Azrin. He has, I love learning. I live in Calgary where I run private and group classes for English, French, and Spanish learners. <clears throat> Oh, there's like three magpies on my deck. What are they up to? What are you three up to? What are you doing there? They look like they're looking for something. They're up to something. No? What are you guys doing out there? Oh? Are you building a nest? 
You three look like you're scouting or planning. You guys are up to something. They're big. Magpies are big, man. They're a bit. Anyway, it's not important. Oh. What's he doing? He's doing some weird stuff out there. Oh, there's another magpie coming. Oh, there he comes. Oh, now he's there. Now he's over there. There's four magpies. Five? Five? Oh, another one's right there on my window. One, two. Oh, where'd the other ones go? When I was looking at them, they disappeared. What's he doing up there? Huh. Anyway, okay, it's not important. Okay, <clears throat> back to this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Mm. I recently decided that I wanted to put together a free introduction a free online class for French and Spanish learners. A free intro, a free online, a free introductory online class. It's not really a class though, is it? It's more of a maybe online crash course for French and Spanish learners. <clears throat> there are so many, and I, I gotta be careful because when people read this, they're not gonna, they're not gonna have watched this video. They're not gonna know what I was thinking. Uh, maybe a video, a free introductory video course. for French and Spanish learners. I recently decided that I wanted to put together a free introductory video course for French and Spanish learners. Or actually, an int I've recently decided, okay, I got this. I recently decided that I wanted to put together an introductory video course for French and Spanish learners. I, this course will be Free. I am very, I'm, um, while I earn a living from teaching classes, I also enjoy giving back to language learners in whatever way I can. Because, oh, this class will be free because I enjoy giving back to language learners in whatever way I can. Um, I thought that this could be language learners. I thought that this could be, this would be a, a, I thought that putting together a well, a thorough introductory course could 
save people hundreds of dollars. Okay, I recently decided that I wanted to put together an introductory video course for French and Spanish for, peop for people learning French and or Spanish. This course will be free because I enjoy giving back to this course will be free because I enjoy giving back to language learners. I thought putting together an introductory thoughts. Uh, uh, maybe I don't need to explain more. Um, hmm. Tessa says, sounds like a demo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I got a word. I don't know how to word it. I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> Back to language learners. Like, it's true, though. Like, if you look at my, like, I'm trying to, like, what I'm trying to encapitulate, if that's the word, the thing I'm really trying to, like, 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 um, express is that, um, <clears throat> like if you look at my actions, a a significant percentage of my efforts are are not stuff that I'm paid to do. Like I'm not paid to like I run every single Saturday. I have like I teach drop in classes for free for seven hours. Like and you don't have to pay me anything. Like you don't have to. It's just come like come learn, I'll have to work with you. Like that's, that's free. I make more content than every other person who makes content about language learning. I never ask, I, I rarely ask for anything. I sometimes will say, hey, I've got a class. Like, but even when I ask, it's like, I don't need, it's, 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 there's no, there's no energy. There's no, like, I really want, I don't even like, a lot of people put a post out and they're like really hoping they get sales. I just put it out. <sighs> There's no energy. There's no like power behind the asks I have. I don't know. So, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to write that. Cause I know this, like people are cynical and like, there's a lot of free courses out there that really are just a hook to get you to buy something else. And this legitimately isn't like, I'm just, it's going to be like on YouTube. It's going to be like a YouTube video. It's going to be like, here, let's go. See ya. Hope you like it. Like it's <laughs> DM me if you have any questions, you know, message me if you have questions, super simple. Like, it's not a grab at your money at all. So, um, <clears throat> now, granted, I do know in my mind that because there's such a pure intent, there's going to be three percent of people that go through it, and they're going to reach out for me because they want to use my my paid services. I know that already too. I'm not an idiot, so I know that too. Um, but it's pure intent. Like if zero, if this never led to any paid sales, I don't care. Like it's fine. It's, they don't care at all. It's totally okay. <clears throat> um, maybe this course will be will be completely free. Will be free. While I do run paid classes, I also enjoy creating free resources for people to use.
I recently decided that I wanted to put together an introductory video, video course for people learning French and or Spanish. <clears throat> this course will be free. While I do run <clears throat> a free introductory video course, okay. Oh, do you know what I could do? I can make different headings, actually. Let's do that. So heading one. That's the way to do it. Okay. So hi, hello. My name is Azrin, the language nerd. I love learning and teaching languages. I currently speak English, French, Spanish, 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 I live in Calgary, Canada, where I provide, where I run private and group classes for English, French, and Spanish learners. I recently decided that I wanted to put together a free introductory video course. A free introductory video course for people learning French and Spanish. <clears throat> Well, why is it free? While I do run paid classes, I'm passionate about language learning and want to and, 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 and oops and enjoy creating free resources for people who may not be in a position to take a class with me. This could be because you don't have the. That sounds so blunt because we don't live because our schedules How do I uh, do this here? Oh, that's cool. There we go. That's really cool. I don't know I could do that. Okay. <clears throat> guys, it is not currently if I just pay for a class. Um, I don't teach many live, private, many online, private lessons. Ah, crap. Mm, what else?
Therefore, I spend a portion of my time every week <clears throat> to provide to provide learning opportunities for people studying a foreign language without charging. For example, I already teach. I, for example, I teach free job every week. Make regular content. Regular content about language learning across all major platforms. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Azra and AK Azran Language. I love learning and teaching languages. Currently I speak English, French, and Spanish. English, French, Spanish, Mandarin, Gujarati. I live in Calgary, Canada, where I run private and group classes for English, French, Spanish, English, French, Spanish, Mandarin, and Spanish, English, French, and Spanish learners. I recently decided that I wanted to put together a free introductory video course for people learning French and or Spanish. Why is it free? While I do run, while I do run private paid classes, I'm passionate about language learning and enjoy creating free resources for people who may not be in a position to pay for classes. This could be because it is not currently in your budget to pay for your budget. You don't live in the, we don't live in the same city as me. Okay, here's the draft. Oh, we're still streaming. I forgot about that. Um, so I'll just read what I've got here. My rough draft so far. Hello, my name is Azrin, aka Azrin the Language Nerd. I love learning and teaching languages. Currently, I speak English, French, Spanish, Mandarin, and Gujarati. I live in Calgary, Canada, where I run private and group classes for English, French, and Spanish learners. I recently decided that I wanted to put together a free introductory video course for people learning French and or Spanish. Then I've got another section underneath. Why is it free? While I do run paid classes, I'm passionate about language learning and enjoy creating free resources for people who may not be in a position to take classes. This could be because it is not currently in your budget. Your availability doesn't match the times the your availability, doesn't, your availability doesn't match the times that I offer classes. There we go. You don't learn best in a classroom setting, etc. cetera. Um, therefore, I spend a portion of my time every week to provide learning opportunities for people studying a foreign language without charging any money. Does that make sense? Therefore, I spend a portion of my time every week to provide learning opportunities to provide learning, to, to, well, to teach, I suppose, to teach. Therefore, I spend a portion of my time every week to teach foreign languages without charging any money. <clears throat> Therefore, that doesn't make sense, actually. <clears throat> I'm passionate about language learning and enjoy creating free words for people. Take classes. That doesn't fit. Something's wrong there. There's a problem here. Um,
<clears throat> that is why, let's keep it simple. Uh, okay, content covered in the class. This course, this video class course will cover um, So this course will be public on YouTube for anyone to access. There will be a, a document available to all. <clears throat> there will be a document available to all with all class notes. <clears throat> with all class notes. The main topics covered in this course will be uh, main topics covered in this course will be Um, uh, the main topics covered in this course follow the follow the knowledge required. The main topics covered in this course will follow the knowledge to not pass an A1, but <clears throat> in this course. How did I phrase? I've already written this part, actually. I've written this somewhere. Where did I write this? Oh, here we go. This class will be to will cover basic topics at an A1 level, such as, but not limited to. Oh, yeah, there we go. This, um, the, what did I say? I just said it in such a great way. What did I just say? Will be, oh my goodness, let me just copy and paste it. Ah. These will be, oh. <clears throat> um, that doesn't fully work here, hang on. The course will cover basic topics at an A1 level. And we'll cover basic topics at an A1 level. Please view if you are not familiar with with what an A1 level oh hang on including including now I need to Look at the website, the um, understanding and using familiar everyday expressions. Well, let's just say greetings. <laughs> um, Alphabet and sounds of the language. 
Mm. Introducing, so introducing yourself and others. Mm. Asking and answering questions about personal details. Asking and answering questions about personal details, such as where you live, uh, people you know, things you have, and things you have, your family, and your work. Okay, what else? Uh, what else is on that thing? <clears throat> Essentially, you'll be able to interact in a simple way, provided the other person. So, in other words, in other words, the purpose of this course is to give you the tools to be able, give you the knowledge or the tools, give you the knowledge to interact with others in a simple way, provided that to interact in a, in a simple way, provided that the other person speaks slowly and clearly and is prepared to help. Well, it's just looking clearly. Let's preview this page. Yeah, it looks good so far. In other words, the purpose of this course is to give you the knowledge to be able to interact in a simple way, provided the other provided the other person speaks slowly and clearly. There'll be a document available to everyone, for everyone, with all class notes. <clears throat> um, well, it's already 426. I'll leave my house soon here. Okay. You know what I just realized? There should probably be free classes. Yeah, for now we'll keep it simple, but I need to actually put there's I actually already run free classes I have for many years for a few years. So I need to actually include these free classes on this particular page that I'm gonna post, because that should also be there. If you live in my city, we have free classes that you can attend. Like you can just come, come to our free, come to our free stuff, like you can do it. So yeah, I need to have those on here too. Uh, maybe they're two separate pages. Maybe I just have like a free online class, free classes in Calgary. <clears throat> Uh, 
or I have two separate pages. Free online class breaks down in Calgary, uh, free classes in Calgary online. But the Calgary is not really a class though. It's more of a practice opportunity. Okay, let's stay away from that for now. I, I'll put that on later. Um, start date. This class will, I, I'm currently in the process of um, making the course. Actually, I don't need to say that. Um, not really start date. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's not a start date. It's a, yeah, I guess it's a start date. Okay, um, I'll read this out to you guys, and then this is my rough draft. I'm gonna like edit it a bit, edit it a bit, maybe add some pictures and such, but I'll read this to you. Hello, my name is Azrin, AKA Azrin the Language Nerd. I love learning and teaching languages. Currently I speak English, French, Spanish, Mandarin, and Gujarati. I live in Calgary, Canada, where I run private and group classes for English, French, and Spanish learners. I recently decided that I wanted to put together a free introductory video course for people learning French and or Spanish. Why is it free? While I do run paid classes, I'm passionate about language learning and enjoy creating, hang on. While I do run paid classes, I'm passionate about language learning and I enjoy, wait, while I do, while I do run paid classes, I am passionate about, I'm passionate about language learning and I enjoy, while I do run paid classes, I'm passionate about language learning and I enjoy creating free resources for people who may not be in a position to take classes. Who may not current, who may not at, at this time. Wait, let me go that again. While I do run paid classes, I am, I'm passionate about language learning and I enjoy creating free resources for people who may not be in a position to take classes at this time. This could be because it's it's not in your budget. It's not, it's not, it isn't, oh my goodness. It's not currently in your budget. Your availability doesn't match the times I offer classes. Oh, your availability doesn't match the class schedule. There we go, that sounds better. <clears throat> your availability doesn't match my class schedule. You don't learn best in a classroom setting, etc. Or you prefer to, yeah, I don't know. Etc. That is why I decided to put this course together. Content covered in the class. This 
Whoa, that was weird. This video course will be public on YouTube for anyone to view and will cover, what the heck did I just do? I just think really weird. Uh, let's do that. There we go. Content covered in the class. This video course will be public on YouTube for any, will be public on YouTube for anyone. Does that make sense? Will be on YouTube. This video course will be on, will be on YouTube for anyone to view and will cover, yeah, there we go. This video course will be on YouTube for anyone to view and will cover basic topics at an A1 level, including greetings, understanding and using familiar everyday expressions, the alphabet and sounds of the language, you know what, of introducing yourself and others, asking and answering questions about personal details, such as where you live, people you know, things you have, your family, and your work. Is there more to it than that? Uh, uh, there'll be some survival phrases. What did I write in the other course description that I made? Oh, yeah. Numbers, days. Oh, there's way more. Um, numbers... Numbers, days of the week, and months. Mm. Telling time. For oh, those are important. Telling time. Um, Uh, past, present, future. Will I cover that? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'm not sure. Mm, the weather? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's enough. I think that's probably enough. Greetings, understanding, using familiar alphabet. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. So, well, so this video course will be on YouTube for anyone to view and will cover basic topics at an A1 level, including, or such as, greetings, understanding and using familiar everyday expressions, the alphabet and sounds of the language, introducing yourself and others, asking and answering questions about personal details, such as where you, where you live, people you know, things you have, your family and your work, numbers, days of the week and months, telling time. In other words, the purpose of this course is to give you the knowledge to be able to interact in a simple way, provided that the other person speaks slowly and clearly. There will be a document available for everyone with all class notes. That's what I've got so far. So, um, I'm just reading some of the chat here. So, Okay, I've got to take off. I'm going to leave my house in 25 minutes to go teach. Um, yeah, to go teach. So thank you for watching. There's still some work i got to do on this course before it's live, obviously. But um, thanks for watching and sticking around on this video. And we'll talk next time. Bye for now. See you.